Hello guys, Joy here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3, my blind solo no magic playthrough. And welcome to Aerothil. Yeah, I walked to the bonfire, already got enkindled, and we are moving forward again. Last time we went through the lake, or oh, the smoldering lake. And today we are going through, well, maybe not entirely, but we're going into Aerothil. Now let's see what this fabled city holds for secrets. Well, what secrets it holds? Bring a doll to be granted passage. So yeah, we couldn't even continue here if we went here first. But we do have a... We, what the hell? We do have a doll. That one. one. I have trouble talking. Whoa, the guy's fast. Let's heal up first. Got my asses flask plus six. But I don't want. I have to lock off. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Everfill, everybody. Welcome to Dark Souls. All right. Well, let's not unkindle again just yet. Let's first try this guy again. Can we see him from here? Did he come from the water or... No, he just did appears. Alright. And he has back. Whoa, that kind of almost just kills me. No. Oh. I can't see shit. That's right, dog. Look. Now, especially, I do have a full heal because I have a plus six Estus. No, don't disappear. No! Really? And now he appears with full health again. Come on. No, he doesn't. Alright. Let's try and kill him then. up again. Well, this kind of sets the stage for your kill. Ah! Well, Pontiff's right eye ring. We killed him. <laughs> right, so we got a ring for it. Uh, let's see. Boost attack as long as attacking persists. Recover HP with successive attacks. Yeah, but um, the last ring didn't have the effect of healing me. I only like saw it once. Uh, is it a respawnable enemy? Is it? No, it is not. All right. So we need the doll to be granted passage here. We do have the doll in our possession, so I don't know if anything will change or that uh, I couldn't enter otherwise. But let's explore our new city. I think you won't be able to pass through this with the doll. And here is our first bonfire. Rhyme Blue Moss Clump. What is that? Reduce frost buildup. Cures frostbite status. Alright. Alright. Well, it does seem like a wintry place here, so... And yeah, let's see if these items have a new description. Let the fiber... Uh, soul of... No, it really doesn't. Acquire a large amount of souls. Well, that's for later. So yeah, this is a kind of a ice winter based level. I still have my fire sword with me. I didn't upgrade it yet. Maybe I should just do that, actually. 
just to keep it as a separate uh, weapon. Because it was very effective and helpful for me uh, so far, so I shouldn't neglect it. Um, so these are offline phantoms, like inhabitants. Uh, I don't think they will all be phantoms. Not a soul of a wary, wary warrior. Because he is holding down a weapon. And they can do dark magic. And they have frost magic. Whoa! Settle down, dude! <laughs> Settle down. Alright. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where are you going? Alright. Dodge. Dodge again. Can I parry these guys? I probably can, but I probably shouldn't. Ah, you son of a bitch. Not yet. Not yet. Ah, that's follow up. Well, let's just do this then, asshole. Alright. Let's do this. If we're gonna explore, we're gonna try to see how far we can go in one try, and then I have to be unkindled. And there is like fog, or it's night here. Uh, more large Titanite shards, always handy. I'm still looking for around three Titanite skills actually to upgrade my weapon to plus three, my Wolf Knight sword. But I think that's really hard to do actually. It is very powerful as it is, but. Hopefully there will become something available that I can buy them or that I can grind them out. Uh, even if it's the only an enemy that's hard to fight, and I don't mind if I can grind it. I do have a weapon that increases your item points. Uh, I thought I blocked him. Whoa, that guy is huge. And I have a, a shield that increases my soul find, which I could always use to farm a little. Uh, let's see, I do have green moss, but this was a wooden green moss? So this green moss? Largy, largy, large temporary boost stamina recovery speed. Well, that, that can come in handy. I always forget using those items. But, uh, all right, you have a fire stone. Right? And a flamethrower. More flame throwers. Alright, let's first deal with your posse. Oh, I thought I was gonna come. Oh, we're both dead anyway. Heal up. Arch, no, it's too late. Alright, you. Come on, I hit him again. Yeah, everything goes to shit. Heal up. Ah, come on. Keep trading with around every enemy. Alright. Yeah. Come on. Nope, miss. One more hit. Or two. Well. Ah. Oh. Really? No, don't kick him. Kill him. Thank you. Right. That's better. Miss. Get 
Great looking city. I always like the winter teams. Ah, Christ, I didn't see it. Oh, I thought I was out of it, but apparently I was not. So now you are trying to run to that guy and you will probably get stabbed in your ass. No, not yet anyway. Hi. Really? I've been lingering around for a very long time. More large Titanite shards. Come on, give me Titanite skills. I know they're rare, but come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Hi! I want to fight one of you. And preferably... Well, neither of you, but... Yeah. If you want to come first, that's fine. Well, that has a lot of wind up. Come on, don't freak me out, camera. Ow. Nope. Well, don't freak her out. No! Don't. Yeah, that's what you get for screwing around. Uh, these guys are so fast, I should actually just use a different sword for them but yeah I'm kind of determined to sticking uh, as much as I can to this sword and this is probably an exit that will open from the other side yeah <laughs> my thoughts exactly uh. I just have to keep in mind that they Always combo, they do have a large delay between their attacks. Uh, and this guy walks around with his shield up quite a lot. No, 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 I wanted to backstab. Yeah, and then I screwed again. I can't get away. I can't get away. Never get away. <sighs> yeah, there went my souls. Once again. Yeah, that, that's, that about sums it up. A big sigh. <sighs> These guys are annoying. They have almost infinite combos. They aren't, they don't have very much health, but if they get you, they almost kill you every freaking time. And there goes the corner again. I'm not gonna, even gonna bother anymore. Right, let's use uh, my consumables. I have a lot of them, so let's use the selected. Use two of them. 10,000 souls. That should be enough to upgrade my sword. Jeez, you reinforce my fire long sword. Yes! Upgrade it again, yes! Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough chunks to upgrade to plus seven. Pretty be careful. Yeah, pretty be careful. Hello guys, JoyK here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Uh, yeah, I took a quick break. Now we're back at Firelink Shrine and... Yeah, yesterday was an off day for me and I farmed some souls. So, uh, we got 106,000 souls to level up. I had a lot of trouble in the city of Irithyll. So I decided to go back and yeah, level up a little bit. Uh, I upgraded the Butcher's Knife to plus 5 because uh, my favorite weapon so far, the Wolf Knight Greatsword, uh, isn't cutting it uh, in this area because it's too slow. 
and I don't have the upgrade materials for it. So now I'm dual wielding the, well not dual wielding, but I'm carrying the fire long sword plus six and the butcher's knife plus five. It's way more effective against these guys. And I picked up a couple items. Uh, I will go through with them uh, with you guys, but I'll first home, level up a little bit. And I'm going with strength uh, so that it goes up with my butcher's knife. Uh, let's go up with that. Um, my life bar is actually pretty okay, but I do like to have a little bit more stamina. And let's just do one more point in dexterity. Yeah, for more damage, more resilience. Our defense goes up either way, whatever we do. And the Fire Longsword doesn't even scale, so that's fine. Uh, a little bit of adjustment to my equipment. I am still wearing the Fallen Knight set, but I got the Black Iron Gauntlets and the Black Iron Leggings. I bought almost every armor uh, that was special from the shop. Uh, let's see. I'll show you guys. Uh, yeah, these these didn't change well. I had a couple those those pontiff knights that were in that are in Everfield dropped a couple of weapons. So this is the curved sword wielded by the pontiff knights. Frigid spears that linger in Everfield. The large blade appears to be eaten away by insects, making it lightweight but also brittle. So this is one of the weapons, and the other one is this one, the immolation tinder. Profane flame wielded by the Erythelian witches, rigid spears roaming the boreal valley. This torch, both a weapon and a staff, is enshrouded, is enshrouded in everlasting flame. Um, I'm just gonna pick that up, and that one. And I picked up a shield too, this one. Shield of the Pontiff Knights, fridge spears that linger near the This blue-gray shield, shrouded in the tiny cold air, is light and brittle. So everything is frozen over there. I also bought the Undead Legion set and it's very ugly actually. Uh, I'm gonna do like a quick thing. Uh, Fire Witch Helm, I picked up a Pontiff Knight Crown. I had a Black Iron Helm and that's from Tarkus so that's why I bought it now. Uh, Big Head Logan actually. These guys, uh, the Crystal Sage and the pair are said to be successors of the Great Sage Logan. And then that's why they are wearing such a big head. So that's pretty cool reference to uh, to Dark Souls One and, and Big Head Logan. So yeah, I bought the, the Undead Legion armor, which is even worse than what I'm wearing. Uh, I bought the Exile armor, the Execution armor. They're all very ugly. You know, you know what? I'm not gonna do uh, an old Fashion Souls thing. I'm thinking of maybe doing it later. Just to show everything off. I'm not going to use it anyway. And I'm kind of excited to move forward into the game again. I did, we did level up. I'm having my fire sword. I'm having my butcher's knife plus five now. And let's see how it compares actually. Like this. And then. Oh wait, I pre have to press this. Sorry. So yeah, now my wolf sword is actually worse than my butcher's knife. Because of this, the Butcher's Knife has an A scaling, and this one doesn't. So now it goes to 142 plus 109, so that's 251. And this only does 258. Yeah, well, it's a little bit worse. So let's go back to Ember in Kindled State first. And yeah, let's go back to Irith Hill and hopefully traverse the area this time. So central Irith Hill, let's go. So I made this run uh, a couple of times. Still isn't a guarantee that I will go through it as smoothly as possible. But with the Shield of Wand, uh, it increases your uh, soul gain, so yeah, I got a nice little bit of XP and that's why I bought the armor sets too. So let's see if we can do this a little bit more, more smoothly than last time. Because I'm kind of used to these guys' movesets now. And yeah, let's dodge back because of the magic attack there. 
They do linger quite a bit. This is a move you can just fear to the right, and just stay away from it, and then after a backstab with the butcher knife, anyway, you can kill them quite easily. So they drop their armor, uh, I got their hat, I got their weapon, I got their shield, uh, I got all like four or five duplicates. Yeah. And I sold all the duplicates and kept one uh, for each and every item. I keep, I'll try to keep one of them. So yeah, let's continue through. Well, there weren't any items here. We did this a couple of times uh, before I took a break and rage quit it actually. So yeah, this area isn't that interesting for me, but after these guys it's become more interesting because I haven't made it that far. I only did uh, these couple of runs. And that item, well, item that, that weapon that guy is wielding, that's the one I picked up. They do have a chance to drop that one too. Alright, we could actually get a little bit of life back with the with the focus attack from the Witch's Knife. It has a Ring of Evil Eye effect on it. So every clean hit gets you back a little bit of health, but uh, yeah, I didn't do it correctly now because I lost more health than I gained. You! Nice. Bye. Alright, I'll double check the, my rings with you guys. This is still the ring boost dexterity a little bit and obscures my rolling. Uh, I equip this one now. It is, increases your continuity attacks. So if you do like four hits straight after each other, you get an attack boost. I'm kind of still figuring out how much boost it actually is. It's okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's see if we can. Keep it a little bit clean of the fight here. Get a little bit of... Bit of oh, that attack linger. Let's heal up. And there's the guy up there. So let's run. And that is such an annoying attack. It even goes through buildings, so it's very unfair. Oh, yeah. Nope, you're not gonna grab me. So now we have the attack boost, and now he's dead. It's that sword icon next uh, under my stamina bar. You only can see it for like a brief couple of seconds. Hi. Hi. Come on. Wait, let's do it like this. The shield guy most of the time stays behind, so you can kind of focus on this guy first. Like four hits. Yeah, four hits kill. If you know what you're doing, they aren't that tough. And there is a crystal lizard on the stairs, so I want to bait this guy over here, actually. Come on. No, don't do that. Come on, get over here. Or get... Get Harry them, for free. Uh, crystal lizard is still remaining there. Alright, let's go get him. You! Alright, nice. More Twinkling Time Knight. Alright, so now we are continuing into the new area. I haven't played any of this. Hi. So there's another one there. And we are supposed to go the other way. Is there... was there an entrance here? Is this a door? Mm, I don't think it's a usable door. So yeah, new area, shield up. Check behind everything. And these spirits. Uh, this looks like a male or female. They are very small and long, actually. Am I the large soul of a nameless soldier? So yeah, there are a couple of winding paths here. One goes ahead. I think that is seems to be a dead end, and there's a fog gate behind there. And this doesn't open from this side. That's kind of to be expected, actually. Uh, all right. Another large sign. I need six more to upgrade my butcher's knife again. So two more now for because I have already have four. Uh, let's go in here. 
Alright, let's see. The guys without shield most of the time rush you. What this that guy does again. And that's perfect, so I can... Hopefully... Uh, the fire does make it annoying. Yeah, now we're in trouble. Yeah, this is an easy move to counter. One, two... Start broke. Yes, alright. One now. The fire guy kind of changes up the fight, so... I'm wondering if the shield guy is going to rush me or... Or I have to separate them a little bit. Come on. Yeah, this isn't an ideal situation. I can block a lot because of my... Let's just go for him though. The shield guy isn't going to attack. Then we just kill him. Alright. Well. What? Oh, there's another one. What a tricky little ambush. Alright, heal up. Heal up. Keep moving because the fire can go through walls. Uh, let's try backstabbing. Come on. No! Son of a bitch. Alright, your turn first, apparently. Two, three, four. Get away! Well, one more hit. Alright, done. Run away. Run! Alright. Shield up. Well, just keep blocking then I'll... Here. Nope! Nope! Never mind, he's dead. Soul of a weary warrior. And there is something here. Two things here, actually. And an item, which you have to drop down to. Lightning gem. That's interesting. It infuses your weapon instead of fire, and like my fire longsword, you can equip weapon uh, lightning to it. Hi. Haha, <laughs> nice. Right. Well, let's just poke him to death. Let's cheat a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's check uh, the upstairs area first. And he is asleep. Or it. I don't know. Not a soul of a weary warrior. Alright, this leads back. And uh, we can go in there. There's another bonfire here. Should I. I could activate it. But I'm not gonna rest. Hello? Is this a child? Looks like it. Proof of a concourse kept. What the hell is that? Is that a key item? No. Is it another online multiplayer? Proof of a dark spirit was felt by a blue sentinel, yeah. Blood drain shrunken ear, souvenir taken by subduing the guilty. The knight called the blades of the dark moon. Punish the guild-soaked offenders of the gods and take this as a proof of their conquest. The earless corpses of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to the others, inspiring both fear and respect for the gods. Such is the internal mandate of the Dark Sun. So the Dark Moon Blades are returning. So that covenant could be here somewhere. Uh, I'm first gonna round up this area first. At least we got another bonfire. So that's fine. So yeah, this returns us to the entrance of, well, the chapel or something. And there is a ghost? Or is it a live one? It's a live one. Backstab! Yeah, just rolling towards these guys is generally the trick. Uh, well, lucky guess. <laughs> Magic clutch ring. Alright, and there's another item there. Magic clutch ring. What is that? Magic... this one. Increases magic attack with co compromised damage. Or so it's like the fire boost ring also. Well, nice. Lucky guess with that uh, illusionary wall. Alright. 
Alright, this is closed off. There, we can't fit through there, so let's go downstairs. And are you just a body? Yes, you are. Did I throw him down here, or is it... No, no, it is down here. That was stupid. So yeah, there. Church. Choir boys, or something. But they are wielding swords. Hmm. Interesting. So does this mean that this area is rounded up? There's nothing here. I don't think there is a way to go upstairs from here, actually. <coughs> <coughs> there isn't a pathway. Well, we can drop down, but it doesn't have any use. No. There seems to be another path leading up. And from there, from up there, we can drop down to get that item. And uh, this was really closed. Yeah, it does not open from this side. Alright, then we are going to head back to the bonfire and then we are going to rest at the bonfire because we are not returning to this area now. So let's refill our Estes just to be safe. And let's see if we can find the Darkman Covenant actually. Uh, let's first walk behind the church or this building. Let's do that first. Is there anything here? No. Well, that's a great answer. <laughs> no, there isn't anything there. So, let's rest. So, we can go up or down. And you know you know me by now, uh, we are always going up first. Jeez, you just could actually use a torch here. And this leads to nothing. Well, a shortcut maybe later. Alright. Alright. Item. A roster of knights. And what is that? A roster of knights. Check Dark Moon Knights. Online play item. A roster of knights of the Dark Moon who have served since the age of old royals. Used to discover the names of Dark Moon Knights and an order of elite knights shrouded in shadows. So it's kind of the list, uh, a ranking list of guys who are in the Dark Moon Covenant. But I haven't discovered it yet, so try to keep my eyes open. Hi. So this is a, like a small graveyard. There's a clear path over there. Well, we are first going here, of course. Always go the wrong direction. And there is a grave here. And are you praying? Uh, you are hostile. Oh, that's one of those wing guys. Was one of those wing guys. Homeward bone. And uh, something fine. <gasps> Another undead bone shard. Nice. Moist. I can't pray here. Uh, yeah, the, the couple of covenants I did pick up were like uh, maybe talking to an enemy, or sometimes you just get the like the banner for it. So I wonder if the Dark Moon Covenant is something you have to discover, or a character, or is just an item somewhere that you can just equip. Because I like to discover it, uh, even though it's maybe only for the achievement, and because I'm not using magic, so the Dark Moon Blade uh, weapon buff isn't what is an awesome buff, but I'm not going to use it. And this is time around. Man. This leads further down, so let's first go this way. Hi. Even smaller dogs, or thinner dogs. They're weird skulls, actually. See, they. Have... Yeah, they have human skulls. Throwing knives. Hi. 
buy. Rusted gold coin. Wait, uh, you have rusted coins, but you have this is a rusted gold coin. So rusted coin, crush the temporary to boost item discovery. Crushing the coin gives a large, if temporary, boost. A rich man lost his fortune, but it returned to him twofold. He was swift to squander his retrieved fortune. Smugly confident that it was bound to double once again. So it's a large um, item discovery item. It has a larger effect than the normal rusted coins. So if you want to farm armor sets or items, uh, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Um, just to have a little bit of a better look around, let's equip the shield. Uh, the torch. Hi. I can't block, of course. They look like humanities, actually, from here. Are they humanities? Or are these also those uh, invisible items? Like, from here they look like the humanity items in uh, the end of Dark Souls 1. Well. Oh, they're crawling creatures. That's interesting, because like this they look like humanities, actually. Ouch, they do hit hard still. Wait, uh... Alright, they can spit. Trying to yeah, activate my weapon weapon art to try and get a little bit of life back. Right, darts on the spit. Wait, it has a lingering effect on it, the spit. Alright. Well, got almost my full life bar back, so that's fine. Alright, right, the torch does help uh, me see those guys a little bit earlier. Blue buck pellet, which I believe was a magic defense buff. I'm just checking my corners to see that I'm putting the guy behind me. Uh, oh, wait, one on the floor. Alright, let's first clear this. Roll! Alright, get over here. Right. Nope. Ha. I do love the move set of the butcher knife. That's why I upgraded it because it's way, it's faster. It has a better scaling, so it's way stronger than it. Not a blue bug pellet. You. It just has an easy to handle move set. Um. Let's first check outside. Before we go and check the ladder. Because maybe there's nothing here. Or is this the place where the item was? No. This is somewhere else again. Oh. Alright. Let's first go up then. Uh, this leads down to the river we saw. Yeah, we're on the other side of the bridge. Alright, let's first check up. The upstairs area. Yeah, we got 26,000 souls again. I thought I had to level up like 30,000 souls, but it wasn't that much anyway, either way. So I only had to use like 15,000 to level up. Oh, great. It's another one of these areas. Um, right. Another shrivering stone that removes this, uh, removes uh, the element that you have on a weapon. If you have one on a weapon. Let's not lock on on these guys, because then we will fall down. I don't think it will instantly kill me, but... Uh, I'm not intent on finding out either way. Is there something behind this guy? Or is it just a guy? Looks like just a guy. Alright, this way. Alright. That was easy enough. Uh, this is a jump down. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let's double check. Nothing behind here. No. no nothing stuck away in the corner. Alright, this just loops back around. Alright, that's fine. Then we clear that area too. So. I'm 
try, trying to be as thorough as possible. But obviously I missed a couple of things uh, that's to be expected from Dark Souls. And that kind of, well, legitimizes a second playthrough. Uh, let's first check over here. There is an item there. Hi. I see. Who is, who or what is screaming over there? Hi. Hi. Whoa, I didn't kill him. No, I did There are a lot of them here. Oh, I did fought a lot of them, so... Well, and I was trying to say I could... I got used to their moveset, but... Nope! Alright, let's heal up. Got plenty of Estus. And now I even have an Estus plus 7 if I go back to Firelink Shrine. That's just a crazy amount, a plus 7. Ah, I was too short. I tried. What? You can use magic. That's the thing that was crying. Oh, finished off. Alright, so he has magic pursuers. Yes, but I have a great magic block shield, so that's fine. Circle around and backstab. It's not making it any harder than it already is. And a blood gem. Uh, I got like three of them already. It just adds a bleeding effect to your weapon. Uh, I have no idea what that is. I can plunge attack it for cool points. Let's do it for cool points. Oh, insta kill. Well, that earned me some points, right? Another ring of sacrifice will come in handy sometimes. Uh, let's double check the water uh, to see if there aren't any items or creatures hiding in here. Uh, let's get out of here. Alright, there's one more item. Green blossoms, I already have a lot of those. And there wasn't anything here anymore, right? No, we walk down there. Uh, no item there. Alright, so I think we kind of cleared everything there. So let's see what is in the water. There's an item all the way in the distance over there. I'm kind of trying to stick to dry land for now so I, I can move around easily. Because I have the feeling that I'm gonna awaken something here. Well, let's first check. Okay, large soul of a nameless soldier. Let's first check around here. Uh, I believe those white things... Well, that is one of those larva guys, but a bigger one maybe? We fought one near the giants, I believe. But I think these are those other creatures. Which I didn't have fought, actually. Well, I just plunge attack one. Well, let's not find out what their moveset is. Let's just kill them as quickly as we can. If they do look horrible. And they drop... Bonding green blossoms. It's just a larger version of the green blossoms. It increases your stamina regeneration for uh, a longer period of time. I don't trust this thing actually. But it seems that great heal. It that is a nice miracle to have if you have a faith build. It gives you even more healing opportunities. More healing is a longer survivability. Yeah, I have to check there if there is anything in there. I don't think so. You never know. Alright. An item over there. There is a small. Is that a creature in there? I can't see it from here. There's an item over there. So two more items in the water, at least. And what is this? Nothing. <laughs> Just nothing. Sometimes you want to read into uh, too much of the situation. That's just a From Software way. You never know if they hit something there. Alright, let's first get that one. Let's look out for an ambush or something. Pick it up. 
more green blossoms. Maybe they give you a couple of green blossoms here so that your stamina regenerates faster so you can roll around faster. Maybe they thought of that. More green blossoms. And... Whoa, that's a long way down. Ah, I thought I found a path here. Alas. No, I don't think there is a path here. But there is a pathway leading into the building. And there's a pathway running underneath. Now, I wonder if one of those is a shortcut. So I'm going to check this one first. Oh, no, it's just a bonfire. Well, not <laughs> that's great, actually. Lucky for once that I made the right decision. All right, let's lit it. Let's rest. Now I'm going back into the water to check what was there. Uh, nothing here, right? I kind of have the feeling, I kind of do, but I'm wrong this time. All right, let's check back and see what's in the sewer. Well, we didn't unlock a shortcut. Well, every bonfire is actually a shortcut because we can travel to them. So let's see what's here first. There will be creatures. Yeah, there. Uh, I believe those are the same creatures. They kind of have a, like a seaweed drag behind them. Yeah, right. We awoken a couple of them. And that's a grabbing? No, I thought it was a grabbing attack, but it isn't. Right. Okay. Three are once, and if you two hand, it only takes two. It looks like a grabbing attack, actually. They're easy enough to handle for now, but maybe that's just luck. Dunk pies. Right, let's, let's not try to get the attention of a lot of them. All right. Let's be safe. It's, er it's early in the morning, so I'm uh, kind of not in my full hyperactive mode, so... Yeah, that's kind of better for Dark Souls anyway. <laughs> I'm kind of in the chill mode, like... Patiently playing through a section of the game that I was really looking forward to. So yeah, now I'm here. I'm kind of chilling. Everything is going fine for now, actually, so... Ooh, that's nice. Are you alive? Yes, you are. I don't know why you didn't attack. But hopefully there wasn't an NPC. Uh... Hi. You are alive. Yes. Yeah, I'm kind of in chill mode. Maybe you can hear it. But just casually playing some Dark Souls. As far as you can play this game casually. And we entered the kitchen, apparently. Is this Esther soup again? Yeah, it is. That's a free heal, so that's fine. And it respawns, I believe, every time you rest at a bonfire. Hmm. Looks like a people house. Like humans. Regular humans. As far as they exist in Dark Souls. And... Is that a painting of Guinevere? That was Guinevere, right? I'm kind of rusty on my older names from Dark Souls 1, but that... And is that a Silver Knight? I thought that was Guinevere. Hi, can I talk? No. But it is a Silver Knight, it looks like. Ooh, and he has lightning! And that goes through my shield like a knife through butter. But can't parry. Oh. Kind of reminds me of the inside uh, of Lord Run, actually. All right, come on. He is parryable. Oh, that blade! -o. All right, let's heal up. Let's not get too cocky with the parries. 
Let's just backstab him. Play casual, play safe. And jump! Bam. Ooh, just enough. I thought I could maybe parry him still. Right, charge up and go. Yes! Large time and shot iron and the divine blessing. Because this was Guinevere, right? Wait! Yeah, I heard that. Oh, you asshole. I fun. Whoa! I thought I could block it, actually. We all remember those arches. Arches on the end of the lawn, though, don't we? We all do. Right, there aren't any chests here, so. Let's get away. Alright, we can straight up go towards him, I think. I'm kind of looking if there maybe is a shortcut here. That this leads to one of those two gates, which I can open. And he's still firing. Alright, let's first check the inside then. All right. so, Dragon Slayer Great Arrows, I believe they were. And there is another one here. He yeah, has a sword too. Come on. Get over here. Keep a wall between us and the archer. Oh, that delay though. It's very annoying. He like pulls up his sword and then waits and then attacks. Alright. Ouch. Alright, let's not lose our minds. We can kill him. Right, heal up. Silver Knight Helm. Yeah, they are Silver Knights. Alright, let's first take care of the Archer. Two large Star Knight Shards. That is another upgrade for my Borges Knife. Hi. Oh, he can switch. I thought he wouldn't switch, actually. Got a little bit of distance. Whoa! <laughs> Not too much, though. Asshole. I think they are guaranteed to drop large Titan charge, so this is a great farming spot for the uh, for that item. And you can get every weapon you want to, I believe, plus six. I do have one chunk, Titanite chunk, but uh, you need at least two for every upgrade. So, uh, is there something else here? Oh crap! Which one is a mimic? The Leo ring. <gasps> Just in a minute, guys. Let's first check the other ones. Smos Great Hammer. Is this gonna be... Ah, I thought it was like an uh, Ornstein Spear or something. So yeah, this is... My assumption wasn't that off, actually. Uh, let's see. Smos Great Hammer. Twist is Great Hammer associated with Smau. The last knight to remain at his post guarding the ruined cathedral. Restores HP while attacking and carry over from smoke past as an executioner. Right. And we picked up the Leo ring actually. Which isn't useful for the weapons we have. Except... Ring associated with the Dragon Slayer Ornstein. One of the four knights of Gwyn, the first lord. Strengthens trust weapons counterattacks. Orsin was the first knight of the sun's eldest born, and his cross spear is said to have pierced skills made of stone. So yeah, if we uh, are equipping the long sword or the great wolf sword, the poking attack is a uh, trusting attack, so that will boost... I believe that will... this ring will boost those two attacks at least. Let's... So yeah, that, if I have enough titanite skills to upgrade my sword again... Then I believe it will be stronger again than the, the Butcher's Knife. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade the Butcher's Knife to plus 6, so... Well, I have to see, look and see if uh, what weapon will become better. Because I love the fast moveset of the Butcher's Knife. And I don't mind making it a little bit difficult for myself with the Wolf Knight Gracer, just for aesthetic reasons, but... We'll have to see if we can upgrade it again. Right, so I believe we cleared this mini Lord Run area. I thought maybe we could pray here somewhere to these pigs, but no, no interact button. 
I don't think there's anything here either. Let's just try to be safe. But I don't think there is. Alright, let's head out, uh, outside and see if this uh, loops around to another shortcut. Because maybe I'm thinking of uh, adjusting the element of my fire longsword and maybe making the lightning one or something. Because we did encounter a lot of fire-based enemies. Whoa, dogs. Oh, crap. Londor pill shade. And there is another invisible enemy there shooting magic. Hi. And there is another one shooting magic. Uh, let's go down here. I don't want to get hit by the magic. And let's heal up. And he has dark pursuers. That's fine. And he has a dark hand, actually. Wait, didn't I fight him in the, in the swamp? Oh my goodness. Yeah, he just straight up killed me. Excrement covered ashes. Uh, I found a new item. That's always nice to call, sometimes come back. And I believe ashes is something we can give to the shopkeeper again. Yeah. Shrine handmaiden prepares new items. Perhaps it's possible the handmaiden filing shrine could turn this into a few new things. Oh, to savor the sweet pungency, but once more. So we got another upgrade for our store. And you never know what you can buy. And I believe I'm close to where I was. This leads back into the cathedral. Yeah, so let's go in Kindled. I can uh, use those souls. I already farmed a little bit. Well, a little bit. I farmed a lot. <laughs> so that I can... Wait, that one doesn't respawn? They don't respawn? Really? So my whole farming place is gone now? Ah, uh, too bad. But I already farmed a lot, so I leveled up already, so uh, I think I'm going to spend uh, these around 50,000 soul, I believe we will have in the moment, on um, restocking embers, I think. Restocking embers, and uh, let's just look at what uh, the shrine made has in store. Let's get rid of the dogs, then hopefully we can get rid of him. Let's use the fire sword, because it's a little bit stronger. Gotcha. Asshole. Oh, that magic. I hate magic. Yeah, but that's the advantage of the... Whoa, that damage! Holy! Well, it's not holy damage, I think. It's poison damage, but... That's the advantage of the longsword. It's very fast. I don't think if the advantage of being a fire sword is still working. Holy, holy, holy. Right, come on, free backstab. Let's switch. Really? Well, he has a lot of defense. He's much stronger than he was before, actually. Again with the pursuers. It's like his main tactic. Well, that's this is my main tactic. Tactic asshole. Dark spirit destroyed. Londor pill shade again. All right, we got our Estus back. Uh, yeah, let's heal up. Oh, uh, we got a lot of souls from that. Fifty-seven thousand. Nice. All right, let's see if we can loop around to a bonfire, and then this will be. Uh, well, I think it is another. Ouch! A great addition to my dark playthrough. <laughs> Oh, come on. Am I upstairs now? No, I'm not. Come on. I just freaking knew it. No, 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 no. Heal up. Yeah, alright. Oh, come on. Oh, you are getting way in the way. Just die. Thank you. Heal up. Where is that guy? 
There he is. Just him on his own is no problem at all. It's just always a combination of enemies. Another one and another one. Holy shit. Right, three hits. Let's get that. One, two, three. The fire is effective on these guys. Uh, that's why I'm keeping the fire longsword in this area, but maybe after this area I will change it. Hi. I don't know why you wouldn't attack, but that's fine with me. And there's an elevator here. I'm hoping that it leads back to a shortcut, actually. Uh, it goes up, actually. <laughs> Where? Oh, it is a shortcut. Uh, but which one is it? That's back to this bonfire, right? Nope. Uh, yeah, we can go to this bonfire. It's the closest one. Alright, guys. Work. Just going through bonfire. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. And hopefully you enjoyed it. And next time we will deliver the ash through the handmaiden. And see what new items we can get. So hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll talk to you guys later. Wait, 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 wait. I have to do the error. Let's finish it off with style. In tribute to this weapon I'm not probably not gonna use for a little bit. Horatorius! Mm-hmm.